Hello everyone, Newsry Using More here. Before I start this video, I want to apologize about the noise in the background. We have some construction going on. And I also apologize that this duel is very one-sided. As you can see, um, the rest of my matches and duels will not be like this. I apologize for that again, and I hope you guys enjoy this duel. On the left we have frogs, on the right we have dragons. The dragon player summons Torgon, uses his effect to summon, special summon Sangam, and then he passes his turn from there. The, the frog player then draws. He's going to set one monster, I believe, and pass his turn as well. So we see this right about here. He's going to set his monster and pass his turn. The dragon player then draws, summons another tour guide, using tour guide's effect to special summon another tour guide. This is ridiculous. Three tour guides in the same game. Now, think about that. You could make so many crazy things. You could make um, Shockmaster. You could make Shockmaster in the same game. You could make two Zen mains if you had it. You could make... Uh, it's ridiculous. Tour guide's broken, guys. That's just one of the things I want to point out. Oh my god, no mana cross out. I haven't seen no mana cross out used in a long time. Dupe Frog gets removed. Therefore, the other ones don't because it's not a flip effect monster. Then attacks with Sangan for a thousand. Tour Guide for a thousand. Tour Guide for a thousand. And of course, Tour Guide for a thousand. Then, he overlays two Tour Guides to bring out Leviathan Dragon, attaching one, which gives him a 2500 attack monster and two 1000 beat sticks on the field. The Frog player then sets a monster and passes his turn. Here, the dragon player is going to think about what he's going to do and um, how to get over this monster and possibly go for game. So this is what he's going to do in this situation. He's going to, let's see what he does here. I'm predicting another Nolman across now. That would be amazing in my opinion, but um, we'll find out. Okay, Future Fusion, even broken the Nolman across now or three tour guides for crying out. I don't even know. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we have um, sending five dragons to the grave, two red eyes, a Dark Flare Dragon, the Wyvern thingy, I don't even know what it's called. That's that's four, five-ish, there's three, there's, I think there's like three Red Eyes in there. He changes his mind, sends the Red Eyes back to the deck and sends a Light Pulsar instead. And then he's going to do some shenanigans here, which are pretty crazy. Cuts the deck, make sure it's five, activates Monster Reborn. Whoa, guys. Special Summons Red Eyes, activates Effect to get Light Pulsar, but opponent negates with DD Crow. And Red Eye still gets to target a new one, I believe. And that's what he is explaining to his, his opponent. So I, I can't really tell what he targets here because my bad recording in this, this area. But anyways, he attacks Dupe Frog again. And then attacks with Leviathan or Sangam, whichever one. And draws Battle Fader. Doesn't matter. Doesn't take any damage. Still at 4,000. Then passes his turn. His opponent then discards Dupe Frog. The special summon Squat Frog. Activating, activating enemy controller to get rid of Dupe Frog. Or whatever monster he had on the field. Probably Rodent Toad and he got. And uh, take control of Red Eyes. Um, special summoning and Rodent Toad and again. And this just looks like a, this is a good duel. So he attacks with, attacks with Red Eyes to Light Pulsar. And let's see what happens here. Um, obviously, I don't... Well, he has many targets with... Oh my gosh, he discards the Honest. Um, it puts him in a really tough situation. Red Eyes goes to the Great. And pretty much this guy has really nothing on the field to do. Um, let's see what he can do from here. He summons Sea Lancer, which really can't do anything because... You can just tack over with Leviathan. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for game three.